Yo, what's going on guys? I think this is the first time I've ever done a video of this kind. This is more of a update video on the current state of the game. Recently we just had a new patch come out, 1.0.6. In this patch you can see it here, you will have to download this. Um, it will forcefully make everyone download this, but you can download it a bit early. If you have this on LD player, you will have to download it via the APK. Uh, do note that now you are forced to log into Google Play in order to access this game on LD player. So just go into your menu over here. I'll show you really quick. Well, delete that, delete that. Oh, oh. So what happened is you have to go here and go into Play Store and log in with an actual Google Play account that is now required if you're playing this game on LD Player. Um, I don't know about Knox and the other emulators as I only run this on LD Player. Uh, if you want to learn how to run this game on LD Player, I do have a um, video on how to install this game on LD Player. And you can look at it there. Um, so back to the update. In this update, there's a couple of things that they are addressing in this game. Mainly some errors. For example, the um, glitch with Hildegard. If you've been on my stream, I've been complaining about this glitch ever since I got her. Maybe two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. Um, they also addressed a, um, they will, I guess it's more of a quality of life upgrade. Now we have directional movement in terms of turning a little bit faster. We can turn a 90 degree angle and 180. You see down here, so we have the event pre preparation for the start of trick or treasure event. Um, that's the event that's coming out tomorrow on the 17th, depending on where you live. For me, it's 17th. It may be the 16th for you, 16th. It may be the 18th for you, 18th. I mean 16th, it may be the 16th, for example, if you live in West Coast, uh, it'll probably be the 16th for you later tonight, but for me, it's the 17th. I obviously got mixed up by time zones, please forgive me for that. Now, right there you can see that players can, can turn on a uh, quick turn in the options, you can go right here, but once you download the game, you won't see this option unless you're on the newest version of the game. But once you go to here, hit options, go to game right here down below at the, at the lowest level, you have a 180 turn and we have a 90 degrees turn. So pretty cool. I was testing it. I didn't really see much out of it, um, but I guess for some people that may be a big thing for them. I didn't really notice it much personally, but yeah. Okay, well, one second. Now, all this stuff here is like in the upgrade menu, characters, weapons, dragons, and worm have, which have been upgraded to a maximum level will be indicated by a mask covering their icons. I'm guessing for people who like don't know which item they max level, now it's a little bit easier for you. This is more of a quality of life upgrade. I don't think it's that crazy, but it can be annoying if you have multiple of the same print and stuff. Now this right here, after a co-op game, the timer to choose whether to battle again with the same player has now been shortened to 40 seconds. Um, I don't really care about that one, honestly. I guess it makes it a little bit easier when it terms of searching for people for your next game. I'm guessing what happened was that people would stay on that menu after finishing a game of co-op and since it lasted 80, uh, it would take very long for that person to to leave, and then they will end up leaving, and then they will search again. Because I believe it saves your slot until you hit yes or no, if I remember correctly. A camera button had been added to the continue screen of the co-op games, which allowed you to spectate the battle. Now, this is mainly for people who die in the battle, um, I will believe. 
so when you die in co-op now you can instead of looking at that menu like for the, if you play master mode you cannot revive in that so instead of getting that prompt to revive that gives you either the option of either worm mate or uh, the diamonds now you have a camera menu where you can just look at the fight while people are carrying you because you're dead <laughs> pretty much so you won't be too bored um the movement arrow displayed when sliding your finger along the screen during qu quest has been shortened. Uh, I like this a lot. Now I play on emulator, so because I play on emulator, I usually get the max version of the um, the arrow. So it's being shorter. It's definitely a quality of life thing, as it doesn't take up my whole screen. The summary appearance um, screen layout has been adjusted. I haven't looked at this much personally. That haven't summoned anything, but I guess that's a thing. The following issues have been fixed. Player being able to um be unable to progress during tutorial on chapter two two that's one. I believe that's where you get co-op. I did hear about this. I like a co-op bug, so I'm guessing they finally addressed it. I never had the issue myself, but that's now fixed. Another update is players being unable to have progress after creating a room in the co-op tutorial mode. I'm guessing that's also with the go with the co-op bug. So these right here are mainly looking at the co-op stuff, I guess. A co-op game host, co-ability. Oh, this is very important. Now, I've noticed this a lot because my edgelift had 8% crit. But when being in co-op, if you were to join after the host, if that person using the same character as you, their co-op ability would overtake mines, even though mines were the, a higher percent. So that's definitely a quality of life upgrade that makes a big difference. Cause I would get really annoyed that I upgraded my Ezelift's co-op ability, but I never got the value out of it when playing in co-op. Quest not being completed when a boss is defeated while asleep or stunned. I know I don't think I ever seen this before. Um, however, what I did see is that sometimes the quest would continue on, and in the top left corner, you'll, you'll see the um, the fairy girl keep talking, and maybe after like 20 seconds to a minute, the quest would eventually end. So I'm guessing that's what they're talking about. But I seen that a lot during the raid, and the raid was not able to be affected by debuffs, other than defense down. So I don't really understand that one. The, the play for the stamina re, uh, recovery time may have been reset within a day despite... Uh, I never had that issue myself. I've used the, the stamina reset pretty much every day since I got it. And I never ran into that. Getting stuck when clearing an event quest after the event period has expired. I'm guessing that what happened in the last raid battle that people got stuck. Um, I wouldn't know because I was asleep. <laughs> and error message being the split. There's so many errors. Oh my god. I kind of skipped it. Like, I browsed through it, but this is this is a lot. It's still a lot. An error message being displayed when attempting to purchase. Okay. So, I'm guessing you got an error if you try to purchase sometimes. I don't recommend doing that. <laughs> if you fail a quest in this game, don't continue, bro. <laughs> it's not even worth it. Like, you don't lose anything for failing a quest. So, you just try again. Certain actions during worm print unbinding animation causes the heat. And actually, another thing is that if you're going to, like, if you're spending this, you might as well spend it on more stamina. That's another thing. Certain actions during worm print unbinding animation cause the header or the footer to disappear. Huh, I, I don't know about that one. Never seen it. The unbind button in worm print detail screen getting unlocked before worm print upgrade becoming available leading to other possible errors. A lot of these I don't know about personally. So I'm just, I am going to just be like, I don't know. Uh, the jumpstart endeavors icon and remaining days disappearing when purchasing the welcome pack. Jumpstart endeavors. I believe that's the uh, the story thing, right? You can see it here, actually. Let me let me go check. I'm actually curious about this one. I think it's over here. Jump start endeavors. So it should be in the value packs now.
I thought it was this one, beginner's pack. Jump start endeavors. I thought the endeavors with the the ticket things right here that, that you get. That and the um no nah, my fault, this one right here. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I actually don't know what that one is about then. You can see I spent a, a couple some some money in the game. No bully, no bully. 13 days left, so I'll have to buy that again. Oh oh wow. Um click the wrong thing, my fault. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Sometimes LD player gets a little bit of lag, which is kind of annoying. So where are we at right now? We're at the Midgard. High Midgard trial tutorial, sometimes activating after giving up during, huh? The tutorial active. Oh, I actually got that. Um, I got this around 10K. So for some reason, I got the tutorial for it when my Midgard, when I, my um, overall might was 10K, but I wasn't able to do it. So I guess they changed that up. High Midgard's trial treasure trade, sometimes getting unlocked, even though high Midgard trial is still locked. I've seen that one as well. So I got access to that early on because I got the trial. D2 happened to correlate together. So they kind of fixed that. I mean, I got it. So I'm guessing maybe some other players got it as well. I guess they fixed that up. Characters continuing to move on their own when switching from autoplay to manual play while in mid dash. Huh, I didn't know that. <laughs> that could be definitely really annoying. I guess you can just hit autoplay twice though to, to readjust it maybe. I never dashed and then hit manual, so. That seems very annoying though. But Makoto had the support part, uh, support character. Plant stance and ruin stance not being the split. I don't know. I don't have Makoto, <laughs> but I guess it's that support character. I I don't I don't even know what he does to be honest. But now their his stance are displayed. I guess being unable to move until being struck after canceling a certain attack during Makoto's flare stance. Wow, it's a lot of Makoto stuff being fixed there. Makoto stance. Persisting indefinitely after missing a enemies with ravenous fire ruin while either flare stance or a ruin stance is active. Huh. I honestly I don't know anything about Makoto. I kinda avoided all males in the game because I wanted to play a waifu is no bully, no bully. Ron level two and level three fiend crust skill not correctly reducing enemy strength. That's, I'm guessing that's attack debuff and the values were lower than what they wanted. Or maybe higher, though it would suck if it was higher because that would be not that good. The following axis level 2 skills not activating their second hit. Oh, so Crimson Claw, Traitor, uh, Traitor's Despair, the Tyrant. The following types of skills not being used by AI character buffing skills. Certain recovery. Oh, whew, this is important. Now, uh, I mentioned with the uh, Hildegard situation, this is addressing Hildegard because if you follow my streams, I don't know why exactly, but for some reason, once you get the full prep on Hildegard, and maybe it's before, but I've noticed once I got full prep on my Hildegard, she never would heal ever at never never use any of her skills so i hope that this will fix it i have not tried it yet i will tell you guys if it fixes it but that's really annoying i would know if all my other characters would heal besides her never touch any of her skills so i hope that works the way it's supposed to work because i'll make her really good in my sub party another thing i want to mention that we are receiving a 10 pull I don't know if they have it here, but with the um, new event coming out, Trick Our Treasure, we'll be receiving a free 10 roll, which I hope most people will be using on least Anna. Uh, at least Anna, my fault. If not, you can save it up for the next gotcha. Personally, I'll probably be using it for at least Anna, for the, um, you know, maybe a video on her if I get her. If not, oh well. 
Um, I'm, I am kind of disappointed that there's no five star dragon raid up. Though we don't know what's in the banner yet. Maybe they can surprise me with a random five star raid up. Because I really want to have a dragon more so than I care about the character at the moment. But hopefully this video was uh, informative. I know I kind of read it to you guys. I did try to throw my own two cents in there for things I knew. A lot of this stuff I didn't know about, honestly. So hopefully you guys liked it. If you want to see more of these updates videos when the game is updated, uh, do tell me. I will probably try to do more of them. For people who like Grand Blue Fantasy, for some reason, you made it to the end of this video. Yes, I know it's a Precure collab. Yes, I've done the Precure collabs. If you know how I do my videos, I don't do the video on the character until their fourth skill is out. Or the skill locked behind the um, part two of the event. So, wait until then for the video. But, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.